Believe it or not, salt can be one of the most amazing performance enhancing compounds ever. Watch this to find out how. Our next caller is James from Georgia. James, what's happening? How can we help you? Hey guys. Um, first of all, I just want to echo what everybody else has been saying. Um, you guys are phenomenal providing like spot on actionable advice that I pretty much can take in and use almost daily. Um, I'm a relatively new listener, so um, I've become a bit of a junkie and I've been listening to you guys for about three or four months now regularly. And I find it the most useful uh, source of information that I have um, that I use all the time. Huge compliment. Thanks, Thank man. you, man. No problem. In my, um, to, I also want to preface this by saying that before I get to, to the, to the big question is that I haven't, uh, participated in any of the maps programs yet. I've been relatively new, just kind of sorting through that, but, um, I want to make it through this kind of hump that I'm in right now before I start on anything new. So, um, the short version of my, I guess my question or my dilemma is that while I've been going through, uh, pretty consistent and successful cycle of um, uh, bulks and cuts for about the past five plus years now. Uh, I recently went through an extended uh, surplus where I stayed in the bulk a little bit longer than usual. And um, when I went into my cut, everything just fell apart. Um, I did my cut the way that I would normally do it. Uh, and almost immediately, I had a loss of sleep. I had massive headaches, um, some dizzy spells, which I attribute to the loss of sleep. And um, so I went back into what I thought at the time, or what I think was my pretty close to my maintenance. I did that for a couple of weeks, just kind of see how I felt. I felt fine. So I went back into a cut, not quite as deep as the last one, had the same symptoms, and then just went back into a went back into what I thought at the time was my um, maintenance. And I've stayed there around there pretty accurately. I'm still losing a little bit of weight, but I'm also losing a little bit of strength. And I'm not really sure which way to go, whether I just want to kind of dive into the cut and see if I can make it through it or if I should. Um, I, can't, I can't seem to go any lower than I actually am right now and still maintain some kind of, of strength. My strength starts to deteriorate pretty quickly after I start the even a small cut. All of, and this is the first time this has ever happened. So there's a few, um, I want to dig a little deeper because I have a few ideas as to what might be going on. Um, what is your, let's start with this. What's your workout look like? Strength training. Um, very little. Um, it's, it's mostly the, the, the basic movements, squats, uh, bench press, shoulder press, um, some dumbbell work with biceps and, um, some leg press, uh, to kind of, to, to, to square things out. Um, and how many, days and a week, how many days a week do you, do you lift and what's the intensity look like? And then how, and then how often do you walk and hike? So, uh, for the workouts, it's, it's, it's generally four days, one week, and maybe five days the next week, the four day week, I tended to be doing a little bit heavier and take more rest. The five day week, I tend to just focus on maybe taking it down a little bit and getting it in, getting some, some, just some exercise in, okay. um, the yeah. intensity it depends on what I'm, what I'm, um, doing that day. So some days I'll push really hard. Other days I'll pull back a little bit, okay. kind of like it, like a slingshot, you know? Yeah. And these are what one hour workouts about. Yeah. Okay. It can then, be 45 minutes. And then when you, when you do your cut, what are you cutting? How many calories? And is this coming from carbs, fats, proteins? It's all coming from carbs and a little bit of fat. Okay. Um, I, it's about, I take down what the way that I do it is I start, I, I just drop 500 calories immediately. And I assume based, based on my experience that will put me at about, um, at about 250, 250 calories under my maintenance. Okay. And then I evaluate after two weeks and see where I should go from there. And so it's 500 calorie cut. Well, from, um, from, from where you I, were, I yeah. Where I want to know the where, where. Okay, give me. I want to know your weight right now. How much do you weigh? Well, and hold then, on. Let's, and the calorie intake. Well, let's get there because I, I do have. I do want to go because I think there's. I, I think I might know what's going on, and then we'll get into the calories. But you go down 500 calories from where you were, mostly from carbs, and your symptoms include terrible sleep, headaches, dizziness, 
uh, just feeling like shit. And I'm going to assume that your diet is mostly whole natural foods. It is 100%. Okay. Well, you're, not 100%, 90, 99%. You, your sodium, you need to increase your sodium. Mm. That's where I would start. So when you drop carbs, uh, you lose a lot of water and you probably don't eat a lot of sodium, especially for someone who works out a lot and eats whole natural foods. So if you eat a lot of whole natural foods and you work out a lot, you, number one, don't eat a lot of sodium. Whole natural foods don't contain much sodium. Even if you salt your food, you're not getting much sodium in comparison to heavily processed foods. Then if you work out a lot on top of that, you're sweating quite a bit. And then you drop your carbs, which pulls water out. So people, when they go on a low carb diet and they go, oh, I have the keto flu or I feel like really crappy. A lot of it has to do with their electrolyte imbalance and they need to dramatically increase their sodium. So, and this is something you could try very easily. You could go on a cut and then start supplementing with electrolytes, like a thousand, 2000, 3000 milligrams of sodium a day on top of your normal diet with your carb cut and see if you notice a difference. And you'll notice right away. So if that's the thing, if that's really what's happening and you're starting to feel like crap and then you bump your sodium up, the next day you'll be like, oh my God, I feel a lot better. Then that's what it was. If that's not what it was, then it might be that your, your calories are just too low and your workouts are just too hard uh, and the combination of two is too much. Where's, so let's go, let's get the calories. So that, although that's a, what a great, what yeah. great insight. Yeah, yeah, you're probably, the sodium you're probably spot on with that, but let's, where, where are your calories at right now? Right now they're at 2,300. Oh, okay. So, and that's it. And that's considered a cut for you. Uh, it's a little bit under my maintenance. So it's not a big cut. It's just a little, I'm according to the scale, I'm losing about like a quarter of a pound a week, which is not where I want to be because my strength is also going down a little bit. Yeah. That's not, that's not an unhealthy place at all though. I just wanted to make sure you weren't doing something extreme with all that exercise. So that Sal's probably right, dude, especially mm -hmm. if you're a healthy eater and you're, and you're eating a lot of whole foods. Have you, have you messed with LMNT or liquid IV or any of those, uh, hydration? Nothing like that. I, I no, I haven't at all. I mean, I'm open to all that kind of stuff, but I haven't, I've never really been in a position where I felt like I needed it or, and I've, it seems like maybe over the last three or four months, I've kind of entered a different, a different territory now in my workouts and, and my training. So it's a mm. game changer yeah. for people in low carb diets, people who eat paleo and people who eat a whole food based diet. It's a performance also enhancement for sure. Makes a huge difference. And it's more than you think. You need more than you think. So when you look at people who are like, oh, I, I got to make sure I watch my sodium or whatever, it's because they eat a lot of heavily processed foods, they're inactive, and they're out of shape. You look at athletes who exercise quite a bit, eat whole natural foods, you have to supplement with sodium. You have to actually put sodium in your water and make sure you get enough sodium. So when you cut your carbs, you probably immediately lose water weight, right? When you cut your carbs down low, you probably already drop, like you get that initial kind of weight loss, then it kind of stabilizes. Okay. Try, just literally try this, try increasing your sodium by a couple thousand milligrams. So LMNT is a company we work with and it's really easy because you just add a packet to water and each packet is a thousand milligrams. So I would do two throughout the day. Not on, the sugar in there. Either. No sugar, nothing. It's just, it's sodium, uh, magnesium, potassium, but it's high in sodium. And you just add two of them a day on top of your normal food. You'll notice within a day if that was the problem, like literally within a day, you'll be like, maybe even in that moment, I've had clients where this was an issue. And, and the, the tells for me are the sleep headaches and the, and the dizziness. Those are all signs of your electrolyte your and, electrolyte energy, and energy. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, he, yeah. he, those are all signs of like dehydration. So like you could totally be going through that too, which you may not think yeah, you are because sounds... you drink the same kind of water. But if your body's not hanging on to that because your sodium's so low, so I, that's the two things I'd focus on is the water intake and then and the sodium intake and see how you feel. I think that was uh, spot on because your calories are you're not in an unhealthy place. No, and your workout sounds okay. I mean, based on just how you're explaining it, you know mm -hmm. how you pull back and then you increase in. You sound like you kind of know what you're doing. You know your body a bit. Sounds like you've been working out for a little while. Um, and in when you go and you feel good until you go into this cut. And a majority of the calories are coming from carbs that you're cutting. And it's like you immediately are exhibiting symptoms of somebody who has an electrolyte imbalance, which is very common when somebody goes into a low carb environment. It's very common. And they're a healthy eater. And they're healthy. Yeah. Right. Now, if you go low carb, but the, you know, the rest of the food you're eating is like bacon, burgers, hot dogs, you know, how people do these low carb, you know, kind of keto diets and they eat a bunch of processed meats. They don't notice these symptoms because their sodium is high. They're eating burgers, hot dogs, and bacon. Mm -hmm. But if your if your diet is whole natural foods, lots of unprocessed things, you know, you're eating things like you know red meat and ground beef chicken, and chicken, and turkey, turkey, fish, yeah. uh, eggs. You know, it's uh, it's it's. I'm gonna guess it's sodium. And by the way, 
you might even notice in the moment. I've had clients like this where literally we give them sodium and 30 minutes later, oh, in the like, I think you'll notice in the workout yeah, the first time you do it. Yeah. yeah. If it's that, you'll, you, I think you'll notice, for you'll sure notice the, right away the first day. It's not like you'll have to try it for a few weeks to see if it works. You'll know within days if this is, this is the deal. All right. Um, great. I have, I have avoided electrolytes. I don't know why. Just pretty much thought, why would anybody pay extra for that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could salt but, it yourself. Yeah. It's not the, uh, the LMT no, things now. Yeah, but. I, I need I need something that, that, that I need something that will actually like portion it out for me. And, yeah, that's so, I think I think well, that's listen, why we like it so of, much. Of all the supplements that exist on the market, okay. Now I know electrolytes are like silly. Oh, salt, potassium, magnesium. They've been around forever. Of all the supplements that exist on the market, the most va some of the most valuable supplements for hardworking athletes are electrolytes and sodium. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and creatine, like the cheapest. The three, yeah. the three most basic cheap ones are, are like some of the most valuable. I've had sure. endurance athletes where I have them add a pinch of salt to their water while they're running and throughout the day. And they come to me and they're like, I feel like I'm taking steroids. What did you give me? And I'm like, you were so depleted. Your sodium is so low. You needed that for performance. So, and I, like I said, it's an easy test. Test it out for yourself. You'll know within a day or two if that's the deal. All right. Well, fantastic. I trust you guys completely. So um, awesome. Yep. You got it, man. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work. In which case I would say adjust your intensity and don't go on such an aggressive cut. Although 500 calories is not that aggressive, not that but I would crazy. bet, I mean, I would bet money that it's sodium. Yeah. That's, that's how, that's how positive I am. Circle back and let us know. Uh, I'll have, you know, it, let, let's set you up with uh, maps and a ball. Yeah, anabolic. Anabolic. Start, start them starting them off on maps and a ball. I want them in the forum too. I want you to, I want to follow up. I'm excited to see, how this feels for you when you bump your sodium by a couple thousand milligrams. And if you know, you'll notice, like I said, right away. So we'll put you in the forum and then, you know, let us know, let us know what happened. Will do. Thank you guys very much. You awesome, got it. James. All right, man. What a great call, dude. Yeah. yeah. You know, what a, what a great, like, so, so, and you're so right. All those yeah, symptoms like, is like weird, those dehydration. Symptoms, but it makes like, perfect sense. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and you know I what he said? from dehydration. 99% whole food guy. Yeah. Like yeah. That, that's when you know for sure. Like if he was like, oh yeah, I'm kind of, I eat pretty healthy, but I eat out a lot. Like, okay. So you're probably okay. Yeah. So he anymore. looked fit and everything. And what he's talking about his workouts was pretty, you know, spot on. So I, yeah, I, I imagine that was it. Sodium's it essential. Like it. If it's too low for what you're doing, you're going to feel like dog shit. Yeah, well, that's a fact. Th so. This is the part that I, yeah, I actually love conversations fluid. like this because it uh, highlights like and it, it reminds me of my experience, too, of like supplementing with magnesium. It's like these things that have been around forever. Yeah, you no, take it for granted. Yeah, you take it for granted that it's like no big deal. And then it ends up being like this life changing yeah. supplement you take for you. It's so cheap. It's so basic. And we, we get so hung up on the performance ones, right? Like the latest and greatest of this. Know, right? like, <laughs> and it's like, bro, if your sodium's low or your magnesium's well, it only low- only makes sense if you're super dialed though. You know? right. And I think that's why we avoid that. Like, I don't know, recommending it all the time. Cause it's like, you gotta be like, everything's gotta be in place, the whole foods. And also you gotta be working out and like consistently and being, you know, the intensity has to be at a certain level, but when it's there, man, it is life changing. Dude, for me, sodium is, a, is a, such a performance. Cause I don't eat a lot of carbs well, yeah, anyway. You eat so lean dude i don't healthy. eat a lot of carbs because it just doesn't work with my gut health so for me a high carb day is like 150 Dang. 200 grams which is not a lot i work out most days so i drink i, I do yeah. at least two to three uh, sometimes four lmnt packets wow, a day you go four sometimes but hey but you know what i feel and, and look i i get blood to my my blood pressures and everything's always healthy and amazing i feel so much better when i do two to three packets a day versus yeah. when i don't it's a, yeah, it's a huge difference same. Thank you.